Lexus has just unveiled a very, very cool minivan, and that is a 2024 Lexus LM. And as I say here, it looks like the ultimate Uber Americans won't get, unfortunately. So what we're gonna do in this video, we're gonna have a look at this design of this LM minivan because it looks absolutely nuts, specifically in the front end, and I love that. So we're gonna have a look at the front, side, and rear, and also we need to have a look at this interior. This is one of these interiors that I would love to spend a lot of time in, and I wouldn't mind going cross country just sitting in the back seat of this thing. So let's have a look at this article first of all in the spec and tech and some other details about this from this article on Car and Driver. The 2024 Lexus LM debuts as the latest version of the brand's luxury van, but it's only sold overseas, unfortunately. Inside the LM offers seating for up to seven, but the four seat options include lounge-like chairs facing a 48 inch screen. <laughs> Super cool to sit back there. Now, while the US has ultra luxury, luxurious sedans like the Mercedes S-Class and for example, the uh, the SUV, the Bentley Bentayga, in this country, we don't have their van equivalent like the LM and why not? I don't get it. So this is launching in over 60 countries, which for the first time includes Europe and Japan. And they've designed this to be super luxurious, not just when it comes to the interior quality, but also what's happening underneath. Along with beefing up the sound deadening, the available engines and their mounts were tuned to limit noise and vibration in typical Lexus standard. Remember the first Lexus LS400, how quiet that was? They're still keeping those technologies in today's version. So the engines are both hybrids here with one using a 2.5 liter four cylinder gas engine and the other is presumably offering more power thanks to its 2.4 liter turbo four gas engine. While business executives and other rich types who like to be chauffeured will want the four seat option which is the one I would like as well. The LM also offers seating for six to seven passengers. The 2024 Lexus LM looks to provide an experience Americans won't get to enjoy and something this country's obnoxious influencers can't replicate with an obligatory hashtag van life. Very well said, Mr. Eric Stafford. So let's jump in to Photoshop here. Let's have a look at this design. It is such a cool van. So the thing about vans is you're already screwed before you even start the project as a designer because there is no way you can make a van look good or the proportions of a van look cool. It's just not gonna happen because we have this wheel and then we have this huge skyscraper on top of it. So you can't work with these proportions. So why not then go all out and make something completely nuts like Lexus has done here. That is that is why I love this. And it still has a very strong Lexus identity, even though it is a van. You have what I would say is very close to over styling in uh, Lexus vehicles, which they've had for a decade now, but they still manage it's in some cases to look the to make the overstyling look good. This is not one of these cases, but still, it's still a cool looking design because we have this grill that we first saw in the refreshed RX, and I really like this integration of the grill. It is absolutely massive. Doesn't stop if, before it reaches the ground at the bottom right here. But what I love about this new integration of the grill is that it's not a traditional, typical grill with just a mesh and some framing around the mesh. Here, they try to do something new. So we have these patterns kind of morphing from solid and then dissolving the further down we go. And it also happens on the sides here as well with this integration going from solid and then kind of morphs into more spacious grill patterns as we go further down. I think this is a cool integration of a grill and I really like it on the RX. Here it feels a little oversized, but as I said, you're already screwed from day one when you get a van project as a designer. So they said, let's just put the biggest grill we can on this beast and call it a day and see what's going on. And then we have these lines for Lexus as well. Very typical front end Lexus. You can, if you remove the logo, you can instantly tell just by looking at this grill that this is a Lexus. I kind of like these cuts that we have for the, um, for the fog lights. And it looks like we have a parking sensor right about in the middle of that thing. And a tiny little fog light up there, which feels maybe a little out of place, but the framing for it still looks very Lexus. So let's have a look at the side view and these proportions. What I like about these designs is that we have almost like a visor design. You can see that the A-pillar here is blacked out and then we have very organic roof line with this thing dipping down like a wing and then we have the roof spoiler up top. So they had a lot of fun designing this car, even though it is a van. They made the most out of it and I think we need more cool looking, I mean, maybe not beautiful,
awful looking but interesting looking vans and that's exactly what this is and one little detail that I saw in the RX as well was this surface here it, it feels a little weird to have fluid and, and sharp lines and then going into this very fluid I want to have some sort of sharp line in this area because that looks too fluid to me and we have sharp lines everywhere else cutting into this fluidity except for in this area here so I would probably want to add some sort of line going like this to have one sharpness going in this area as well to kind of have it be the same feeling as we have in every single other part of the car which is lacking in this part only and it's kind of annoying to have that smoothness right there that doesn't feel like it's belong to that place in addition to this organic rooftop we also have a pretty organic shoulder line so have a look at the trim piece that goes right underneath the windows it has this little dip right here they could have easily made this just a, a simple straight line but they added some sort of styling in here and the management said we're gonna approve this because you're working on a van we're gonna let you have a little bit of fun so add whatever you want in the rooftop and the shoulder line so let's have a look at the rear view here before we jump into this fantastic interior of the Lexus LM the, these graphics here I don't think they look specifically beautiful because they're cut off in a very abrupt on the Lexus way right here you have the LEDs going all the way up until it meets this trim piece up here I like the top part of this rear end this with the integrated uh, spoiler in the back and this fin sticking down very organic and beautiful but down here I think this uh, treatment of the graphics of the rear end the tails uh, and this dip here it feels a little uncertain of what he wants to do and I also don't really like that we have almost the same thickness of the LED going across I want to have a little bit more dynamic feeling to this so maybe have the taillights going something like this so have a straight line where you fill this in with taillights and same thing of course on the other side to create a more of a confident design in the rear and actually hammering in exactly what it is the designers want to visualize in the taillights now they kind of feel like they're a little bit insecure on what they want to do with the taillights and it feels very un Lexus like to me but other than that we have the same kind of treatments of course uh, soft surfaces smooth surfaces being cut up by sharp lines all over the place which is the typical Lexus design philosophy which I don't mind at all it creates a very unique design for the brand all right so let's have a look at the driver position nobody in uh, this car or this minivan is going to care about the driver so the driver gets a pretty boring looking interior you have uh, vents here on the side you have the big gauge cluster in the middle looks pretty huge to me I'm not sure if the screen goes all the way up here but it has a pretty nice height to it and we have a cap for it the housing very nice and then this is a typical Toyota Lexus integration where you have it stretching out and then kind of clash a little bit with the material choices between the infotainment screen and the gauge cluster this is what you see in pretty much every Toyota and Lexus model going back maybe three or four years but it still looks decent it's not the worst integration of a screen I've seen you also have these uh, vents at the bottom looking very easy to reach and they're not hiding anywhere they're right there very easy to touch and adjust then you have this center console which is very minivan like and I don't mind that at all it looks pretty comfortable to sit here in the front end with this big chamfer going all around as you can see here into the door creating this massive chamfer where not a lot really goes on but it still looks pretty nice but the nicest part of this is actually going to be the rear seats look at this integration of a widescreen TV 48 inch TV with your own remotes right here I would personally choose this in a black or very dark interior it just feels cozier to me but I would definitely go with a four person or four seat setup unless I decide to have three or four kids within the next five years and as I said this is a, a rear seat that I would love to sit in for an extended period of time and I think it would actually enjoy it because yeah, I can do whatever I can even work back here recline the seat have all the leg room in the world feels like a first class seat back here and everything feels nice and all the materials just feels premium for example the wood up here in the roof and the leather and this trim piece going around here this perforation that we have in the side of the doors it just looks like a very nice place to be in but unfortunately we don't get this in the US which I think it's a shame which is here with the Honda Odysseys and the Dodge caravans and stuff like that I would much rather have the Lexus LM over here even though it is a much more upscale van it's still a van that definitely sets it apart from the rest 